A dangerous sexual predator admitted today to kidnapping and murdering nine-year-old Angie Hausman. The nine-year-old was abducted, tortured, and later found dead in the Bush Wildlife Area in 1993. Nine-year-old Angie Hausman gets off the school bus last Thursday a block away from her St. Anne home and never gets to the front door. Earl Cox is the man that they believe killed and sexually assaulted Angie Hausman. Do you know the name Earl Cox? Don't know who he is, no. The tragic disappearance of Angie Hausman in the quiet streets of St. Charles County, Missouri. The chilling disappearance of nine-year-old Angie Hausman sent shockwaves through the community. It was November 18, 1993, a seemingly ordinary Thursday afternoon when Angie vanished without a trace. The routine walk home from her school bus stop turned into every parent's worst nightmare. Angie's absence was initially brushed off as a momentary delay, perhaps a detour to a friend's house or a quick stop along the way. But as the hours stretched into an agonizing evening, the realization dawned upon Angie's family and neighbors that something was dreadfully wrong. The streets buzzed with concern, and search parties combed through every nook and cranny desperately hoping to find a clue that would lead them to Angie's whereabouts. A dangerous sexual predator admitted today to kidnapping and murdering nine-year-old Angie Hausman. Home and uh, Cox engaged her in conversation and then coaxed her into the vehicle. The nine-year-old was abducted, tortured, and later found dead in the Bush Wildlife Area in 1993. So when Angie disappeared somewhere, be somewhere between her home and her school bus stop a half block away, and that piece of evidence would have just been uh, put back in its place and we move on to the next piece and it never would have been retested. The once peaceful streets now echoed with sorrow and outrage as a community grappled with the unfathomable cruelty that had befallen one of their own. Candlelight vigils illuminated the night sky, a solemn tribute to a life cut short and a promise to never forget. In the wake of Angie's disappearance, the search for answers began in earnest. Law enforcement agencies mobilized, pouring over every shred of evidence in a relentless pursuit of justice. Yet, despite their tireless efforts, the case remained shrouded in mystery for over two decades. The memory of Angie Hausman lived on, etched into the collective consciousness of a community forever changed by her loss. The years passed but her story remained a haunting reminder of the fragility of innocence and the enduring quest for closure. Now, as the shadows of the past give way to the light of truth, Angie's legacy endures. Through her voice may have been silenced, her story serves as a beacon of hope for all who seek justice in the face of unspeakable tragedy. Decades of Unsolved Mystery For over two decades, the disappearance and tragic fate of nine-year-old Angie Hausman haunted the collective conscience of St. Charles County, Missouri. Like a shadow looming over the community, the unanswered questions surrounding her disappearance cast a pall of uncertainty that refused to dissipate with the passage of time. In November 1993, Angie's routine walk home from her school bus stop took a sinister turn when she vanished without a trace. What should have been a mundane journey turned into a harrowing ordeal, leaving Angie's family and neighbors reeling with shock and disbelief. Despite frantic search efforts and the community united in grief, Angie remained missing, her absence a gaping wound in the heart of St. Charles County. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into years. Yet, Angie's fate remained a mystery shrouded in darkness. The passage of time did little to ease the anguish of her loved ones or assuage the gnawing sense of injustice that pervaded the community. Each anniversary served as a painful reminder of the unanswered questions that lingered, a silent plea for closure that went unanswered. As the years stretched into decades, and is charged in the Angie, Angie Hausman case, but investigators say he may not have acted alone. Earl Cox is the man that they believe killed and sexually assaulted Angie Hausman. Do you know the name Earl Cox? I don't know who he is, no. And Angie Hausman's stepfather, Ron Bone, lives on this street here in Woodson Terrace. I just talked to him. People that know me know that I have nothing to do with this. When's the last time you talked to police? 
The case of Angie Hausman became more than just a local tragedy. It became a symbol of unresolved justice and the enduring power of hope. Countless theories emerged, each one a fleeting glimpse into the enigma that surrounded her disappearance, but none provided the answers that Angie's family so desperately sought. Despite the passage of time, law enforcement agencies never wavered in their commitment to solving Angie's case. Countless hours were devoted to combing through evidence, following leads, and pursuing every possible avenue of investigation. Yet, the truth remained elusive, a tantalizing mirage that seemed to slip further from grasp with each passing day. The legacy of Angie Hausman endured, etched into the annals of St. Charles County's history as a reminder of the fragility of innocence and the relentless pursuit of justice. Candlelight vigils and memorials served as a testament to the enduring impact of her story, a beacon of hope for a community still grappling with the pain of her loss. Decades may have passed since Angie's disappearance, but her memory remains indelibly imprinted on the hearts of all who knew her as St. Charles County continues to grapple with the unanswered questions surrounding her fate Angie's legacy served as a solemn reminder of the enduring power of hope, even in the face of the darkest of mysteries. Breakthrough DNA leads to a conviction after decades of relentless investigation and unyielding determination, a breakthrough finally dawned on the long cold case of Angie Hausman. The pivotal moment came with the advent of modern forensic technology and the painstaking analysis of DNA evidence, which breathed new life into a case that had long languished in the shadows of uncertainty. The turning point arrived when forensic experts uncovered DNA evidence on Angie's clothing meticulously preserved from the crime scene. This microscopic clue, once overlooked in the vast expanse of evidence, emerged as the linchpin in a case that had defied resolution for over two decades. Through meticulous analysis and cutting-edge techniques, investigators were able to identify a genetic profile that would ultimately lead them to the doorstep of justice. The revelation sent shockwaves through St. Charles County and beyond reigniting hope in the hearts of Angie's loved ones and sparking a renewed fervor in the pursuit of truth. With newfound determination, law enforcement agencies embarked on a relentless quest to trace the origins of the DNA profile, casting a wide net in search of answers long overdue. Nine-year-old Angie Hausman gets off the school bus last Thursday a block away from her St. Anne home and never gets to the front door. Investigators were able to get a sample of DNA off a little piece of Angie's underwear. He doesn't deserve to live what he did to that little girl. She was sweet and innocent. It's been probably the toughest case that I've had to deal with since I've taken office four, four and a half years ago. As the investigation unfolded, a suspect emerged from the shadows, Earl Webster Cox a name that would become synonymous with the pursuit of justice in Angie's case. With a history marred by allegations of physical hurt and a proximity to Angie's neighborhood at the time of her disappearance, Cox quickly became the focal point of law enforcement scrutiny. The pieces of the puzzle fell into place with astonishing clarity as Cox's past indiscretions and proximity to the crime scene converged with the DNA evidence uncovered by forensic experts. With each revelation, the once impenetrable veil of mystery surrounding Angie's disappearance began to lift, revealing a path towards accountability and closure. In a stunning turn of events, Cox was identified as the major contributor of DNA found at the crime scene, effectively implicating him in Angie's abduction and passing away. The revelation sent shockwaves through the community as decades of speculation and uncertainty gave way to a semblance of resolution long overdue. With the weight of evidence stacked against him, Cox was brought to justice, his conviction serving as a beacon of hope for a community still reeling from the scars of Angie's loss. Though the road to closure was long and arduous, the breakthrough made possible by DNA analysis stood as a testament to the unwavering commitment of law enforcement and the enduring power of truth in the face of darkness. Closure and Justice The aftermath of Angie's murder 
with the conviction of Earl Webster Cox. The chapter of Angie Hausman's tragic disappearance finally drew to a close, bringing a bittersweet sense of closure to a community that had long yearned for answers. The culmination of decades of tireless investigation and unwavering determination, Cox's conviction served as a beacon of hope in the face of unspeakable tragedy. For Angie's family and loved ones, the verdict brought a semblance of peace amidst the lingering pain of her loss. Though the wounds of her absence would never fully heal, the knowledge that her abductor had been held accountable offered a measure of solace in their journey towards healing. The impact of Cox's conviction rippled far beyond the confines of St. Charles County, resonating with communities across the country grappling with the specter of unresolved violence. Angie's case served as a stark reminder of the importance of perseverance and the enduring power of justice in the face of darkness. In the wake of Cox's conviction, St. Charles County stood united in its resolve to honor Angie's memory and ensure that her legacy endured. Candlelight vigils and memorials served as a poignant tribute to a life cut short, while renewed efforts to support victims of violence underscored the community's commitment to healing and resilience. As the dust settled on Angie's case, her memory lived on as a beacon of hope and inspiration for all who had been touched by her story. Though the pain of her loss would never fully fade, the knowledge that justice had been served offered a glimmer of light in the darkest of times. In the aftermath of Angie's murder, St. Charles County emerged stronger and more united than ever before. Through the power of perseverance and the unwavering pursuit of justice, a community transformed tragedy into triumph, ensuring that Angie's memory would live on as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.